That's right. We are live. Matrix University is now in session. I'd like to welcome everyone, as always, to the bottom of the rabbit hole. Uh, the thumbnail should be pretty obvious what we're talking about tonight, but I do want to introduce our resident Matrix Online archivist, Vesuvius MXO. He's going to be joining us to discuss what we've all been seeing all week long. Greetings, Red Pills. We, we've got some Matrix news. It's not outright. It's some speculation, but we got something. Right. And, and that was the whole thing that, um, you know, the reason why I want to do a live stream, because the jury's still out on what exactly it is that we're seeing. But um, I, I, I want to send out a tweet and, and let everybody know we're on, in the room. Did you uh, have a a podcast that you wanted to plug? Weren't you recently a guest on, on a, a quite sizable channel or, or am I imagining things? No, this is true. I was a guest on the Kotaku um, split screen podcast, which uh, we recorded yesterday and I believe is going to be out this Friday. Okay. That's actually, that's really soon. Cool. I'm definitely going to check that out and um, see what's going on there. I'm looking forward to the discussion that you guys had. And I also want to thank everyone who uh, supported this channel by subscribing because last week we hit 3,000 subs, which, you know, at one point when I first started this channel, I didn't know if that was actually going to ever happen, you know, uh, eclipsing the 1,000 mark, let alone 3,000. So thank you, everyone who has subscribed to the channel. And we're just going to keep pushing ahead, pushing forward. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tweet out that this live stream is in session just so everyone in the Twitter spheres can know and join us. Well, hey, I got to say, that's what happens when you put out good quality content, uh, you know, that it's kind of got that fair and balanced where it's well thought out ideas and good explanations and you do it on a consistent basis i mean pe people are listening well thank you and thank you for your assistance through this journey i mean i gotta give props where it's due you definitely always come through with the good solid matrix fandom energy and n overall knowledge of the matrix online specifically so thanks for being a part of that journey anytime you, you know i love talking matrix all right, so we got the tweet out. So let's get to the nitty gritty of what most of us have already seen. I mean, this news broke over the weekend. Um, actually, I have the video here, so I'm going to see if I can get that to display for everyone who just saw the photos or didn't even see that much. There we go. So it appears what we're looking at is Keanu Reeves in Berlin. And he's rocking some CGI marker gear. The arrow points to it in the thumbnail for anyone who um, can't see them, you know, because the video quality isn't that great. But, uh, yeah, uh, you can see uh, Lana Wachowski's hair there. And then that's Carrie Ann Moss behind her. I think on the wider shot, you can see uh, James McTeague sitting down with them. So... You know, these people are certainly involved with the Matrix 4. There's no doubt about that. But, um, you know, I, I didn't put out a video immediately when I saw this picture leak on the Internet over the weekend. One, because I was really I was working at a really busy weekend. But two, usually with this kind of stuff, you know, come Monday or Tuesday, you know, credible source, a, a, a variety or a collider or a Hollywood reporter or one of those movie blogs will make a article or a comment or, or say something or track somebody down and it's wednesday and that hasn't happened so what what's your immediate reactions on what we're seeing here because there's no real story i mean the jury the jury is definitely out on what's going on in berlin right now okay so when i first saw this uh it was under the pretense of reshoots and i yeah did you mention that they're in Germany. Are they, are they back? I did Davos mention that they studio? were in Berlin. Yeah. Okay. Right. 
and I did mention that, and the internet is mostly running with the reshoots thing. Um, I did mention that they're in Berlin, but they're actually at a crematory. Um, I have the name of the place here somewhere. Um, Silent Green is the name of the location that we're looking at right now. So they're not actually at Studio Babelsberg. However, um, I have seen articles, and that was the thing. Earlier in the month, I saw articles saying that Keanu Reeves was going to Studio Babelsberg for John Wick 4. So it's just very interesting to me that the information doesn't seem to be adding up. I mean, first, uh, you know, the beginning of the month, he's in Berlin at Studio Babelsberg for John Wick 4. And now he's in Berlin at the crematory with a bunch of Matrix 4 people. Okay, so I want to get to the crematory in a moment. But yes, yeah, so when I first saw this picture in the video, it said reshoots for the Matrix 4. So I don't know if, if there might be some misdirection going on. If it's released, if they release a statement, his people, that he's doing John Wick 4 and he's with some uh, Matrix 4 people, then, yeah, there might some, be some misdirection going on there. And I actually did not notice the motion capture until somebody pointed it out. And, you know, the thumbnail that you have shows his shirt and, and coat kind of zipped up. So what I thought I saw last time was like the motion capture um, like around his shirt, like under his jacket, but it doesn't seem to be that. Uh, only in your thumbnail did I notice the, the points on his pants. Yeah, um, again, I didn't notice it right away, but I think I saw maybe somewhere on Twitter someone pointed it out. It was like, okay, yeah, those are on his pants. Um, and actually, if you look at one of the photos, um, right, you can see there, they're on Carrie Ann Moss's pants as well. Um, she's covered up by a shawl. I guess it's cold out there over the weekend, but uh, she's got some on too. Uh, real quick, shout out to 69.5. Uh, we gave him the heads up over in the uh, Matrix Online emulator. He was looking to to uh, watch the live streams in the future. So I'm glad I was able to give him the heads up and that he's here to join us. And a quick shout out to Tom Muir. Thank you for uh, sending love in the chat there. And Matrix Spider-Man, I see you. Um, yeah, Shane Grace, this is your first time catching the live. Welcome to the live session of Matrix University. Shout out to everyone for tuning in. So back to this this motion capture marker thing. Um, like like you said, I didn't notice it right away with the photos, and that's why uh, I wanted to play the video here just to kind of see everybody in motion on what appears to be a break in Germany. Um, but once I realized, or once it was pointed out to me, that he was wearing motion capture gear. I mean, I guess I got to go right into it, right? Um, I'm not going to rule out that they could be shooting for a video game, perhaps, because that as soon as I as soon as it was made aware to me that that's motion capture gear, I thought to myself, I'm like, right. Recently, I had seen a picture of him in motion capture gear for 27, 2077, that video game that had uh keanu reeves playing johnny silverhand so you know he's recently done this it's not like oh why would you pay keanu reeves to be in a video game well another video game just paid him and while again there's no reason or any evidence to say that they are releasing a video game from for the matrix 4 i'm just saying when i'm looking at this the first thing that popped in my mind was that picture of him in motion capture gear for 2077 and you know, it's not necessarily unprecedented because in uh, the Enter the Matrix video game, Jada Pinkett Smith had motion capture gear on and they used her for that video game and the actor that played Ghost. So it's not like it's, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm coming up with this theory, but based on things that we've already seen kind of develop between 2077 and Enter the Matrix. I'm, I'm just saying it's possible. Yeah, and how exciting to have a video game that, you know, with Neo, because, you know, originally we got Enter the Matrix and we didn't have Neo. And as a matter of fact, he wasn't in that video game at all. Not even as like a right, unlockable right. character. And people right. were disappointed. And then uh, they they decided, listen, we got to do something with Keanu Reeves, Neo, and they released Path of Neo a couple of years later. Uh, I think that was uh, too little too late uh, because that was kind of in a, like a dip in the, the franchise, but you know, we might get like a prime uh, Keanu Reeves in, uh, you know, in this matrix Four craze. 
video game in a video game. Now you brought up Path of Neo. Do you remember? Did they do motion capture for Path of Neo? Do you remember at all or no? I don't. I don't have any. Um, yeah, I'm not any sure. knowledge of that. But I'm gonna run a quick search on that. Okay. Yeah. While you're checking that out, um, because I'm not sure. Uh, you know, you know, you know how I feel about Path of Neo. Great game. I had a good time playing it. But it would not surprise me if they didn't use motion capture for that. Like you said, I, I feel like it was almost like a little too li too little too late. But I did enjoy playing the game. Um. I recommend it to hardcore Matrix fans, of course. And any Matrix fans, please make sure you like the stream. Um, I always forget to say that, but you know, like the stream, help other Matrixologists find their way to the bottom of the rabbit hole to join us uh, while we discuss this. Because, like I said, I feel like you know the internet was quick to say that this is a Matrix Four reshoot, and it could be. But to that point, if it is, um, what I was going to say was that. I don't know that it's necessarily a reshoot or perhaps an additional shooting in the sense that, you know, when they did reshoots for Dune, everybody was saying, okay, it's not going to affect the release date. And here it is. Dune still hasn't been released yet. So, uh, you know, for anybody who's impatiently waiting for a trailer, like many of us, I mean, if these are reshoots, that's not good in terms of release date, because I would imagine that that's going to push the release date back. Um, again, we don't have any evidence or any statements saying that these are reshoots. And since I brought up the Dune thing, that's kind of been why I've been so reserved about this. Because with Dune, there were Variety and Collider and, you know, major blog outlets saying they're doing Dune reshoots. You know, when Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss and Jonathan Groff and Neil Patrick Harris and all these guys touched down in Berlin, they were like, hey, these guys are in Berlin, they're shooting. We haven't heard any of that. And every article about Keanu Reeves' recent return to Berlin says that it's for John Wick 4. Now, they could be wrong. I'm, I'm not saying that they're necessarily on the money. You know, the fact that we see Carrie Ann Moss here also in CGI marker gear would suggest that it's Matrix franchise related for sure. Uh, you know, the fact that Lana Wachowski is there doesn't mean it wouldn't be related to John Wick because... You know, if you've watched these videos, you know that Chad Stahelski and Lana Wachowski have a very strong relationship. In fact, you know, uh, Chad Stahelski has said that, you know, one of the reasons why he is the director that he is is because Lana took him under his wing. So, uh, you know, there is a connection there. Uh, they, they have referenced each other for stunts and scenes and sequences. So, you know, Lana Wachowski being there alone isn't enough. But when you put Carrie Ann Moss and James McTeague there, you got to imagine that this is, you know, somewhat Matrix franchise related at the very least. So I did find a video on YouTube with some Path of Neo motion capture session, but it doesn't look like it was Keanu Reeves. And the caption says, choreographed by Kung Fu legend James Liu with Gabriel Roundtree directing the action. And it's definitely not Keanu, at least in the first half of it actually doing the motion but it's some pretty pretty spectacular movements okay right so they did use motion capture just not keanu reeves for it and thanks that, for looking that up by the way yeah th that that looks to be the case all right so 69.5 asks are there any images videos from the actual shoot last year that show actors in mo motion capture suits okay great question because that's my whole thing with this Everybody, you know, Neil Patrick Harris and um, why am I not thinking of her name right now? Iron Fist, Jessica Henwick, you know, all these actors were saying that, oh, you know, Lana Wachowski is focusing on more practical shots. And, you know, they've got these, you know, unique rigs and that the action is going to be more practical and, and not as much CGI. And now we see Neo and Trinity in full CGI gear. But no other, I haven't seen any other actors in Berlin. Um, that doesn't mean that no one else is there. But at the same time, I mean, I only see the two of them. And that could be, you know, pandemic pro protocol related also. I get that. But I'm just saying, right now, all we see is Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss in this gear. And that question makes me think, this is why I'm leaning towards that this could be, we could possibly see them taking a break from some type of video game shoot because that would still support the narrative that the actors were saying that this is going to be focused on more 
practical effects in the actual film. Now, it's still the Matrix. That doesn't mean that they can't have a full-on CGI shot. And like I said, without the other actors there, this would suggest that whatever shot it is only involves Neo and Trinity. This could have been an add-on. This could be something that they just said, oh, I want to change this or in editing. This doesn't come out the way I wanted it to, so let's just do it in CGI. You know, all that is possible. I wouldn't rule out any of that as a possibility. But again, if that is what's happening, if that's what we're seeing here, if we're seeing them doing a full uh, animated shot and that's what they're shooting at this time, I'm not going to rule out the idea that the Matrix 4 release date is going to get delayed again. Like, I definitely think that if this is what we're looking at, that this movie is going to come out in 2022 as opposed to 2021. Hey, this could be a reason to push it back. Right, because, right, when we reported it before, the rumor on the street was that Lana Wachowski was really heavily against the whole HBO Max dual theatrical streaming idea. And um, I did see an article. Let's see if I can find this here. Um, I'll just switch screens here so I can show you guys. So, you know, I'm not making it up right. So it says Warner Brothers strikes first deal to return films to theaters only in 2022 with new 45 day window. And that's a picture from Dune. But uh, the point being that with this new deal, instead of having the movies come out on HBO Max and in theaters at the exact same time on the same day, they'd be in theaters only for a month and a half for 45 days and then roll over to HBO Max. So with the current Matrix 4 release date being December 22nd, 2021, I mean, all they have to do is push this thing back a month. I mean, obviously, January isn't the best time to launch a blockbuster, but you get the point that I'm saying. If it gets delayed two weeks, they're back into a purely theatrical release realm again. So to your point, this could be the perfect excuse for Lana Wachowski to get what she wants, and that's a real, legit theatrical release. Like, oh, well... We need to shoot some more stuff. We're going to have to do a little bit more in post. We're not exactly ready yet. And yeah, all this and all this is a theory, by the way. Continue. I'm sorry. Well, I'm thinking if they are shooting for a video game, you know, they've got uh, they're going to have a tight schedule because he is supposed to be doing John Wick. Plus, how long is it going to take to develop the rest of the video game? You know, let's just say that the video game is a thing and it got green lit. Somewhere around the time that Matrix 4 got greenlit and uh, announced, that's got to be, what, 18 months ago? Uh, right, it's going right, to yeah. take probably a lot longer to produce a video game. Uh, anybody that, that's listening that has knowledge on video game development, you know, would they really be shooting something with you know, very possibly some main characters for a video game this late in the development if it's supposed to coincide with a December release? Well, and that's the other thing, too. I mean, just like, um, like I said, Path of Neo came out years later. So a video game release date doesn't necessarily have to drop for Christmas. But to that point, it's not impossible for them to have a video game ready to be rolled out by Christmas if they're shooting it right now. So I see, I see a uh, longtime supporter Beverly Coates has caught live. This is her in the uh, chat room here. So hello, Beverly. Um, I also see this comment here. It says, does this reshoot mean that we still have to wait too much time for the trailer? And that's my opinion. If this is a reshoot, if we're seeing them taking a break from shooting footage that's going to be in the Matrix 4 film, it is my opinion that this movie is not coming out on December 22nd, 2021. That's just my opinion. I haven't, I haven't read anything to support that. I'm just going off my instincts, my knowledge of the business, and what happened with Dune. Like I said, when Dune had reshoots, not only did the press report that online, but uh, they also said that it wasn't going to be delayed, and the movie still isn't out yet. I believe the release date is October 1st. Um, let me see if I can pull up that article here real quick. But um, but yeah, they, they said that uh, Doom was going to have reshoots, and here we are in 2021, and the movie still hasn't come out yet. Okay, so here we go. 
All right, it says Dune director Dennis Villanueva on the pandemic's impact. It will be a sprint to finish the movie. Right, and that was August 3rd, 2020. So, uh, you know, they did reshoots last summer and the film still isn't out yet. And also remember that when The Matrix 4 was originally announced, the original date on IMDb was, I believe, April 2022 maybe not april but it definitely was 2022 like the very first date said 2022 and then it yeah. started all around you know what i'm saying because i remember i remember thinking at that time because it's summer of 2019 it's august 2019 i'm thinking at that time i'm like okay that sounds like the perfect amount of time to make to make a matrix 4 movie like it was totally realistic to me that it was going to come out in 2022 so when it got pushed up to 2021 i was uh, to tw excuse me to 2021 i was like really that's okay i mean it's not impossible Movies have been made in a shorter amount of time, but just thinking about, you know, post-production and CGI and whatever else, I, I definitely was, you know, taking it back a little bit. So again, now with the date being December of 2021, you know, a, a, a what, a 10 day delay puts it into 2022 and now we're back to 2022 all over again. Was there anything set uh, or, or released about their shooting schedule and anything reserved about reshoots? I didn't see anything reserved about reshoots. Um, you know, they and that's the thing. That's why it's so hard to talk about this. You know, everything with Project Ice Cream is so cloak and dagger. We never fully got the, you know, official schedule. Between the different actors' interviews, we were able to piece together that they were going to wrap somewhere late November, early December, which is what ended up happening as far as shooting in Studio Babelsberg. Because, again, what we're looking at right now is Berlin, but technically they're not in stu Studio Babelsberg. They're at the Silent Green uh, Crematory. So, you know, technically, as far as Studio Babelsberg is, is concerned, that portion has wrapped, and I haven't seen anything to suggest that they're back at the studio shooting also based on, you know, again, this is not fact or necessarily backed up by anything that I've read. I'm just going off of my knowledge of the industry. I highly doubt that the sets are just still sitting there. You know, other movies are coming in and out of there. So because of the pandemic, I guess it's possible that no one's used that space, but I doubt that the, the sets that they had are just there. So, and, and that's why like when Dune's doing reshoots and stuff, that's why that news is, gets out so easily because you have to put together a team you have to put things back together you know what i mean somebody lets that information out that they're okay i'm working on the reshoot for whatever movie and we haven't seen any news that says that the matrix 4 is doing reshoots well but not impossible and and you know probably more likely because i think that we were of the mind where this movie would have to be successful before we get more matrix you know the video game and more sequels and animated movies and tv spinoff and everything and uh it you know that it it still seems like that's a safe bet you kind of want to wait for this movie to be uh successful and and capture the the audience's uh imagination like uh like the originals did yeah and and you know that's the thing for me and i've been saying this the whole time the success financially of this film of the matrix four is going to dictate how much of that other stuff we get. Um, so, you know, this could be a move to, you know, solidify that theatrical release. Cause it's my belief, you know, especially going off of that Forbes article that I shared in a video, you know, theatrical release is going to be the difference between, you know, this thing potentially making over half a billion dollars and who knows what kind of revenue it'll generate with the HBO Max release. I mean, you know, that's almost like a license for bootleggers to steal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yep. I just, I'm having a hard time seeing it make as much money without having that 45 day window of a, of a pure theatrical release. Um, but if they do have the pure theatrical release, all that stuff you're talking about, video games, streaming services, Matrix 5, like I could see all that happening for sure. Um, the way the landscape is these days. Uh, Spider-Man, uh, Matrix Spider-Man says spring 2020, excuse me, spring 2022 movie release. I mean, I'm on, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets, if it, that's what I'm, I'm saying. If it gets pushed back to 2022, 
I doubt it gets pushed back to January. I mean, it's going to be pushed back to spring if it's, if it gets delayed again, I believe, personally. Um, Beverly says, no trailer yet, and Keanu is also doing John Wick 4. Exactly. And I had seen articles stating that there are scenes in John Wick 4 that are supposed to take place in Berlin. So there is going to be John Wick 4 Berlin shooting. That's going to happen. If that has started yet, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not sure. But this could have been an opportunity to take advantage of his John Wick 4 schedule with him being in town for that. Uh, I never saw anything that said Lana Wachowski returned to the United States after the Matrix 4 wrapped. So for all we know, they're doing the post-production in Berlin anyway. And, you know, I think that's a lot of why people just naturally assume that they're doing reshoots. Like, okay, well, they shot it in Berlin. They could be working on it in Berlin. They might say, oh, something, a scene didn't come out the way we wanted it to. You know, let's do it with CGI. I I'm really hoping that this isn't a sign that they're going the Irishman route and that they're going to be using de-aging. But as far as I know, you don't need a whole mocap suit for that. So <laughs> this shouldn't suggest that. But I, I thought I'd mention it. Uh, shout out to Franz, longtime supporter. Franz, what's up, mate? He says, hi, I'm late. Better late than never. And you guys can always catch the stream in the past live streams playlist here on this channel. So if you're ever late or missed it altogether, you can watch it whenever you want. You know, um, or, or we're doing a lot of talking. There's not a whole lot of visuals going on, so you can listen in your car. I don't want to distract you with the videos that you, you should be looking with your eyes when you're driving. But um, I do that all the time. I listen to old uh, podcasts and, and YouTube uh, videos in my car and listen to them when I'm driving. You know, do a lot of commuting around here. But um, but yeah, like I said, if you, you come in late, do not fret. They will be up here to stay. Um, what's this say? All right. So David says the original date release was 5-21-21. That's what I'm saying, dude. That was the first like official date. But prior to that, when they first mentioned, like I said, August 19th or August 20th of um, of 2019, and IMDb's first projected date was 2022. Now, they didn't have an exact date. That 5-21-21 was the first exact day that we got for release date. And that's the one that, you know, they said was going to be Keanu Reeves Day, even though Chad Stelhusky of John Wick 4 came out later and said that was just some kind of mix up. That was never a release date for John Wick 4. John Wick 4 hadn't even been finished um, in the writing process yet. Um, so that was just a big mess. But yes, that was the first date that was down to the day. But when the movie Matrix 4 was announced, they said 2022. I I'm positive I've seen that. And I'm sure that one of those early, earliest videos will reflect that as well. Um, cheers to David T. Gregory, uh, another em emulated Matrix Online emulator bro in the room. Uh, we got some new comments here. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's a good point. Boom Art Studio says, do reshoots always delay movie though? No, they don't necessarily always delay the movie. I'm just saying, from the moment that I heard that Lana Wachowski was rumored to be totally against a purely, or, or rather the shared HBO Max theatrical release thing, where The Matrix 4 would be able to be viewed the first day from HBO Max. Once I heard she was against that, in my mind, and again, that's a rumor, we don't know if that's true, but if it is, if it is true, in my head, the next thing I thought is, okay, if I was a director, what would I say? What excuse could I come up with for Warner Brothers to have to delay it? So if reshoots can delay, which they did with Dune, like I said, Dune's not even out yet. I believe the release date for Dune is October first. Dune was supposed to be out in December of twenty twenty one. So if all you have to do is say, I need some reshoots and they're going to delay it. Like I said, I shared the video or excuse me, I shared the article that says HBO has the deal with the movie theaters in 2022. There's going to be 45 days, purely theatrical release. So all they have to do is delay it one more time. And Lana Wachowski gets what she wants, allegedly. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting it out there. And let's face it. It doesn't look like they fully committed to the HBO release because they did absolutely no media. Somebody just went on and used the, the Matrix font 
on a white background and just said Matrix 4 as a placeholder. I mean, if they were serious about really hyping that up, they would have done something. They would maybe even put some color in the graphic. Yeah, they they were totally not ready at that point. I mean, that logo tells you everything as far as that goes, as far as the 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 trailer not being ready for that rollout. Um, and again, <clears throat> if I'm going to bet odds here, what we're looking at, for whatever reason, I feel like there's like a 55% chance, 45% chance it's Matrix 4. 55% chance I think this is for a video game. I don't know why, other than the fact that no media outlet mentioned reshoots whatsoever. Nobody's saying that. So that to me, and like I said, having seen, let me see if I can find the picture of um Keanu Reeves in the 2027 mocap shoot. But um, but yeah, man, I'm just I don't know, dude. Like I feel like there's just a high chance that this could be some Matrix 4 Ma Matrix 4 video game shoot that we're looking at here. I just think it's possible. Now, now yeah. we got to make a video about what we think the video game is going to be about. Because you know it's not going to rehash the exact same storyline. Well, again, that's the thing. If there is a video game... It would appear that Trinity, you could play maybe as Neo or Trinity, because she's got a mocap suit on as well. And right now, I'm trying to pull up that uh, Keanu Reeves image of him in the motion capture suit, if I can find it. Hey, maybe they'll do the final chapter for the Matrix Online. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I let it go, it. folks. No, don't. I mean, that's one thing I love about you. Keep banging that drum, man. We got to, you know, I mean, archiving it is great. But if we can actually have it live again and, and share that experience again with other Matrix fans, I mean, that's the dream right there. Well, you know, just leading up to another Matrix movie, I think it would just be a really cool thing to, for, you know, the the fans and the community and the audience to just get in and just live in that environment for a little bit. It, it'll, I think, it, it would probably help the film. It would help the fandom. Okay, here we go. It's loading up. Uh. Oh, it's asking. There we go. Because it's asking to watch the video on YouTube. But if you can see here, uh, let me share the screen. There. So now, clearly, these are different markers, but you get the concept. This is the suit that popped in my mind when I saw Keanu Reeves wearing the CGI marker stuff. And this is what he was wearing for Cyberpunk 2077. So, you know, he's not above playing his character in the video game like you said in path of neo it wasn't keanu reeves but since then he's he's suited up for this kind of stuff so i don't know i'm just like i said it's just a gut feeling more than anything else but at this point all we can do is speculate i mean it's project ice ice cream after all so you know that's what we're here to talk about i mean this is what we do Right, and Beverly says here, Lana never returned from Berlin. She stayed in Berlin. So there you go. I mean, you know, there's no reason to believe that they couldn't have taken advantage of his John Wick 4 schedule and said, hey, if you're going to be here anyway, we can, you know, throw this motion capture suit on you and get this video game footage. I mean, I'm biased. I, I want a, another Matrix franchise video game, so that could be a part of it too, you know. But again, I, I feel like there's an equal lack of evidence to say that it's a reshoot as there is to say that it's a video game shoot. I feel like there's no evidence either way. So at that point, it's just, you know, like, what do you believe? What do you choose? Yeah. And, you know, it could be market research too. It could just be them saying, you know, let, let's see what the talk is. You know, do, do people want another matrix video game? 
you know, do people want the de-aging and the CGI? And, you, you know, because a, a lot of times with that Burly Brawl, it left a bitter taste taste in, in people's mouths because the CGI, you know, it looked a little rushed. It was very heavy. It was uh, wonky. I gave you that. It was wonky. Yeah, but, but you know, th- there are fans that came up with, with a, a good explanation for that, and it's that the Matrix, th- there was so much going on in the Matrix that it had trouble processing it and therefore dropped to a lower frame rate. So, you know, th- there are ways for fans to, to enjoy even the dips in the, in the quality of the Matrix. Right, and I was one of those fans. I didn't have the lingo down like you did in expressing the, the whole frame rate thing. Uh, I think I referred to it as buffering, but either way, the, the idea is that the the CGI in that scene in the Burly Brawl was uh, so messed up because, like for me, like I said, if you're going to have something like that justified by a film, it's justified by being in the Matrix. I mean, it's still... At the end of the day, the simulation is still, you know, an overprocessed video game at the end of the day. So the video game that we all share. So if you're going to have, you know, CGI graphics glitch out on you a little bit, you know, that's the, the perfect franchise for something like that to happen. Now, I'm not saying that they did it by design, but like you said, it's, it's definitely a fan excuse or cover up that works. <laughs> you know, it doesn't necessarily work in Star Wars, but it definitely can work in the Matrix universe. Yep. So, so, so Beverly agrees. She says she thinks it's a video game as well, or at least that that's possible. Um, <laughs> and six nine five says, video game about King Oligarch. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, I don't see any wireframes right now, but you know, they can always paint that on later, I suppose. <laughs> oh well, that's got to be CGI. It's got to be. <laughs> Yeah, chalk it up to success says it was wonky, but the theory was crazy. It sounds legit. It works. It fits. <laughs> it works. I mean, again, I'm certainly a Matrix franchise apologist, if you will. But uh, I, I, I didn't. It didn't ruin the experience for me. That's all I'm going to say about that. In 2003, 2000, yeah, 2003. In 2000, in 2003, that graphic wasn't so terrible that it took me out of the picture or took me out of the film in that moment. That did not happen for me. I've heard people say that it has, and you know, I feel bad for you if it did. But it just what you know, at the time I didn't think that the graphics were so terrible that it's just like oh this isn't real again because it's not real it's the simulation it's the matrix. <laughs> Shout out to Starshwar because he you know when he explained that thing about the the lag and the processing power of the matrix you know that that was the first time that I had heard that and I was like that's really cool. But, you know, it's uh, just one of those things. Pe- people are going to believe what they choose to believe. So here's just another option. Now, there was one uh, other thing I wanted to bring up. I don't want to keep you all night because I know you got uh, an early day. But um, you did share with me uh, last week. You shared with me something from Reddit. And when I clicked the link, I think it was like the Australian or something and it wouldn't let me read the full article without subscribing and like all this extra stuff. So I didn't get a chance to, um, I guess, report on it officially. And even in the Reddit comment that I guess that you quoted and sent to me or, or screenshotted and sent to me, you know, the person admitted that this was very similar to a previous Lambert Wilson quote, one that I did report on in a video. So that's, you know, like I said, with the, the busy week, and um, the weekend kind of getting away from me last weekend. Um, I didn't go ahead and uh, get a chance to report on it. I, I, I wasn't sure, like I said, with it having already been in another video, I wasn't sure if it was like a whole other video worthy. But um, basically, it was a quote from from Lambert Wilson in The Australian, uh, where it said that Wilson greatly enjoyed his time working on the Matrix sequels in Australia. He says the mayor, right. So, right, that's the original Matrix sequels they're talking about there. And then he says the Merovingian was a gift of a role, even in France, considering the different things that I've done. The Matrix is one of the films I'm recognized for. I tell you what, people are going to be surprised when the Merovingian reappears. He's lived a very rough life. He's, vi- he's lived a very rough life some 20 years on. 
so they will hardly recognize him. And again, you know, he did mention the whole 20 year part before. I know David Mitchell also confirmed that 20 years has passed. Uh, you know, Keanu Reeves said that there's no time travel. Um, and after that, he said, naturally, Keanu Reeves is still kicking ass. He's like a cowboy. You can see that he's suffering, but he's incredibly courageous and so peaceful. So that's the the new Lambert Wilson quote um, from the Australian there. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on on you know what he had to add to the Merovingian in the Matrix Four. Oh yeah, that the Merovingian is going to be uh, kind of brought down by his time between uh, his last appearance. So it's uh, it's it's interesting because you know having played the Matrix online and experiencing that story, he was still very powerful. So you know this is one of those things where you know did he have a fall from power? in the time between that or uh, the time between when we last saw him in club hell and Trinity was threatening his life. So, um, you know, uh, my, my bias is certainly going to show cause I would like for the matrix online store to remain Canon, but if it doesn't, you know, it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be replaced with something really cool, but you know, I'm just wondering what, what could it be? What could, what could have taken a toll on the Merovingian that, he's not prepared for he's prepared for everything he's got somebody for every job <laughs> 695 says uh oh reddit links <laughs> i'm with you brother and that's why i didn't make a whole video on it you know reddit by itself i didn't get a chance to go back to the australian um but yeah no i i, I love that you brought up the matrix online because the mayor of Vengeance was a very large character in the matrix online and i wouldn't necessarily say that he fell from power there um you know, there were definitely situations that he lost, but, you know, Persephone was still there. Like you said, he still had the, the use of the train man. And, and, you know, he, in fact, he, the, you know, with the whole oligarch storyline, he, he, he actually wielded some power there. Yeah. In that storyline, he became more powerful. He gained control over some very powerful programs that uh, gave him a force outside of the matrix, which would be unprecedented for him. You know, having having been around since you know version one or version two as an operating system, um, it, it it gives it gives you some very interesting options for the future. Yeah, I'm I'm very curious to see uh, a if they make any references to any of those storylines um, from the Matrix Online, and b you know if what Lambert Wilson is talking about you know, makes reference to, to any of those situations that happened in the matrix online. Um, it's definitely going to be definitely going to be interesting. I'm definitely excited to see where this is going. So this was posted by a moderator, uh, a mysterious mystery over on Reddit. So big shout out to a mysterious mystery over on Reddit. He's very active over in the matrix subreddit over there. Uh, very knowledgeable about the Matrix, you know, brought in a very cool article about Lambert Wilson and the Merovingian. More stuff that we can pick apart and speculate on. All right, so David says, I hope that whatever this is, it does not delay the release date. Can't wait. Um, you know, and for selfish reasons, because of the, pro excuse me, the Project Matriculated Premier Party event, uh, the December release date actually works out better because like on a Wednesday, you know, we can pretty much do whatever we want um, within reason, within legal reason. <laughs> um, uh, but that said, I did also want to want to share uh, the idea I had on um, Twitter. Actually, I don't know if I should say that. <laughs> I don't know yeah, if I should say that. Save a nugget. Yeah, save I'll it. save that. Well, because it's, I, I still want it to spiral out of control. But um, but that said, uh, the uh, resurrection code sneakers are actually being produced. They're in production in Italy right now. So you know, definitely show off your Matrix franchise fandom with these pair of code sneakers. Uh, there is a link, or rather, I'll put a link in the description uh, once this live is over. But you know, you can go to neomatrixology.com. And there's a link that'll take you directly to it there. 
Um, it'll be in the link in the future videos moving forward. Uh, that just happened last week when we hit 3,000 subs. So thank you to everyone who has helped support this channel, who has subscribed to this channel. And, you know, a lot has happened in the last we're, we're, we're pushing two years. It'll be two years in the summer. Can you believe that? That's like so crazy. Um, but yeah, time flies when you're having fun. So thanks for having Matrix fandom fun with me. Uh, is there anything because I don't want to keep you on. I know you got to go. Uh, is there anything that you wanted to plug while we have everyone here on the live Vesuvius? Well, I've always got a couple of things in the works. Uh, just follow me on Instagram at Vesuvius MXO. I do some Matrix, uh, some daily Matrix content over there, a lot more Matrix online stuff. But uh, if I got anything uh, in the works that, that's ready to go, that's where I post it. Well, as always, I want to thank you for helping me out here, helping explain uh, the different gaps that have happened between the trilogy and the video games and the Matrix online and everything else. It's always a pleasure to have you on board. Once again, everybody who's here, please do like the stream. Help others find their way to Matrix University. And you can grab your Resurrection Code sneakers and all our Teespring gear. All those links are on neomatrixology.com. So you can check out all those links. And I guess, I guess that's it, right? I guess class dismissed.